G'day guys, Mark from Cycling Maven here, just leaving work now and uh, getting ready. I haven't told you guys what I've got planned this weekend, I'm doing Amy's Grand Fondo, but uh, in the uh, late in the evening on Sunday I'm flying out for Sulawesi in uh, Indonesia uh, and I'm going to ride from Poso, actually it's not Poso, it's Palu, through to Manado, which is about 1200 kilometres on the north coast. and. Um, I'm still undecided as to uh, which way I'm going to go yet, but should be a really good trip. I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, I just went to Commuter Cycles, picked up some bits and pieces for the for the ride, just to cover my ass. A puncture repair kit, believe it or not. I don't think I've repaired a tyre in about 20 years, um, but uh, should be should be handy over there just in case I puncture. And uh, I'm dropping over to Curve Cycles now to pick up. Their, uh, one of their Belgies. They're making me up a, a Belgie, uh, a titanium Belgie, one of their frames, so it should be a good bike for this trip. Yeah. This is it, this is where it all happens. Adam. Ben. Ben. Ben's been working all afternoon to get uh, get your bike going, and uh, well, my bike that you're taking, but that's all right. Um, <laughs> it's it's a bike of, of adventure, so uh, yeah. So apparently, I'm stealing his bike that he was uh, he was building up for what all day today. Yeah, Ben's been <laughs> all ready for tomorrow's morning's Belgian ride. So oh, you're taking it out tomorrow. I'll yes. take it out tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. So I'll take get a, get a, get some photos of it tonight, and then um, take it out for a roll tomorrow morning, and then it's uh, yeah. I've seen that Belgian on Strava, yeah. the Belgian ride. So that's this ride. Yeah. Yeah, cool. You, uh, if you want to come out tomorrow morning, feel free. It's a fun ride. Six thirty a.m. Richmond. So. Yeah, awesome. So am I running the seat, Ben? I I think if your ass is up to it, yeah, run the seat. So yeah, just setting up the brakes on this bike, the all important part. Yep. Um, which will allow you to stop and go. Yep, awesome. Oh, this is exciting. So this is going to be my rig through Sulawesi. Curve CXR, cyclocross race as we call it. Um, awesome. It's been quite a long time in the making, um, but we've finally received a few frames. And this is our Adam's personal bike that's being built up and, and landed here. Um, so it should be a very special bike, should be a very awesome ride. Uh, you've got some really good components here. You've got some, some SRAM CX-1. So gives you a full range spread. As many gears as you possibly need to climb up most hills. That travel that distance. So that Whoa. So how far was that in total? 4,178 miles. Oh, we got it there. 6,000 clicks. In how long? 18 days. 18 days it took Jesse to complete that, that trip. Now that is hectic. Jesse uh, rode that bike for an hour on average 400 kilometers per day. Um, he would sleep anywhere from a park bench in a church to the Hilton Hotel. Um, he would have food basically consisting of eggs, high protein, pancakes, anything he could get his hands on at particular towns along the trip. Um, and he would always give us a daily Instagram post of how he's feeling, how he's going, um, which was a huge motivation for a great deal of the bike society in Melbourne. Um, and his motivation has inspired, I think, more than a few people to go out and do their own sort of style of distance trip where they can be alone with themselves for a long period of time and see how they really find their own thoughts and, and how it is to pedal a bike for an entire day, day after day after day for a week or, or three. Um, it really is something that only special people enjoy, um, but the, the reward is, is huge. So just left the boys at uh, Commuter Cycles and uh, Curve Cycling. I feel much better about my trip knowing that I've seen the bike and I can see uh, what bags and stuff fit on the on the uh, on the actual frame so it should be good the bike's looking good they're going to build it up well I sort of trust that uh, Ben's going to do a um, 
an awesome job and uh, I'm getting pretty excited about the trip. So uh, just heading in now to pick, pick up some dry cleaning for Hanny. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. It's the ticket, it's Hannah Ogle. Oh, get us some leaf. Keep it the skin that you're going to wear. Let's see that. Oh, that's ah, awesome. Awesome. How good's that? I can't believe it. She just scanned it. How good's that? I can't believe it. She just scanned the dry cleaning receipt. That is so good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Video. Yeah, yeah, I do videos on YouTube, so. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. You have a lovely evening. You too. Bless See you later. Bye. All right, Kitty, the Kitty, the cute little Asian lady from the uh, dry cleaning place, just rang me as I was driving down the road, and she gave me all the wrong clothes, so I had to go back and uh, and get it. She reckons she was flustered because the camera is in her face. Just getting home from the ride tonight. It was a uh, it was a good ride. It was a, quite a few crew out. And it wasn't too cold, so um, and everyone managed to stay upright. But uh, one thing I noticed is there are a few guys that the guys that are sort of coming back onto the bike after a break over winter. They um, they obviously haven't been riding in a while, and when you haven't been doing the K's, you tend to get a bit edgy in the bunch. So. Uh, just a reminder for that crew you know when you when you're in the bunch just try to keep your line just try to relax uh, it's quite an anxious situation being in a bunch ride and uh, when you're doing it all the time you sort of become oblivious to it it doesn't even phase you but when you haven't been doing it for a while those first few times back you tend to get a bit edgy and you know you just uh, uh, so just relax you know relax and um, chill out and just try to enjoy it. There you go. What do you think of Joe? What's for dinner? <laughs> You get so nervous, don't you? In front of the camera. Oh, good job, honey. I'm absolutely starving. It doesn't look amazing, but... Sorry, I mean to be, be honest, but... but uh, did it taste all right? All right. Here we go. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Hey guys, just uh, just finishing up a bit of editing now um, for today's vlog. But uh, yeah, that uh, meal Hannah cooked, she didn't end up. Uh, she confessed to me later tonight that she didn't end up eating it. I think she had leftover pasta. So. Um, it wasn't too bad though, it was, it was all right. But um, yeah, so I'm just doing, finalizing the trip for Sunday. You can see I'm sort of laying a whole bunch of stuff out for um, deciding what to take and what not to take. I'm gonna take some GoPro stuff and I'm still in two minds. I've got my uh, Sony RX100 here, but I'm 
sort of still in two minds about whether I'm actually going to take the um, the big camera. So um, yeah, I spoke to the boys from <clears throat> from North South Blog. I'll link it in the uh, link below. Um, I spoke to Dave this morning, and he said don't take the GX. Uh, the G Whatever that thing is, I'm so tired. The GH4 because it's too bulky, and uh, I can get some really good quality footage on this. But look, at the end of the day, I think I'm only going to have one crack at this, so I think I might take the camera and uh, just regret it, possibly just from carrying around too much stuff. But uh, we'll see how we go. But yeah, look, it was great to see Jesse Carlson's bike today. I mean, what an absolute beast! He did that trip day in, day out, 400 k's every day, gastro, all sorts of things you could imagine. I mean, it is the penultimate in, uh, in human achievement in my mind. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm not probably not going to that level, but uh, look, it's gonna be certainly a challenging trip. So uh, anyway, we'll uh, get a better look at the bike uh, later this week and how I'm gonna pack it. And uh, if I don't speak to you before uh, Amy's Grand Fondo in Lawn, uh, good luck and I'll see you down there. Oh.